Okay, so welcome to the past paper walkthrough for the AQA uh, A-level paper one, inorganic and physical chemistry. Now this is the specimen paper from uh, 2015. Okay, so this is the video for uh, question one. So as you can see, question one uh, opens with a huge six mark question. The question is explain how the electron pair repulsion theory, so VSEPR, can be used to deduce the shape of and the bond angle in PF3. So there's a lot going on here, okay? So you need to use VSEPR and you can uh, use that uh, to deduce the shape and the bond angle. And what we need to do is, of course, explain that. So first things first, for six marks, uh, there's nothing too obvious that you can write in here. Okay, so starting with the obvious that our um, central atom in um, phosphorus trifluoride is phosphorus. And this central atom is found in group five, therefore has five electrons in the outer energy level. Okay, so don't just go and say, well, it's got five electrons. Say that it's in group five and then you link that to uh, how many electrons it's got. What you can then do is link it to the bonding. Well, three of those five electrons form covalent bonds, not just bonds, but covalent bonds with fluorine atoms, okay? And what I've done here is I've just drawn a quick dot and cross diagram because a picture, of course, speaks a thousand words. So this means there are three bonding pairs and the two that are left over form the one lone pair around the central atom. So it'd be really obvious there. So all bonding pairs repel each other equally and maximize the distance between them. So it's really important that you say that, and it just shows that you have that knowledge that all bonding pairs are equally repulsive. And then onto, of course, the lone pair is more repulsive than the bonding pairs. So this forces them closer to each other, okay? And this diagram doesn't really represent that. So what I've done is I've drawn a more three-dimensional diagram here, okay? Showing this lone pair at the top, and of course, the three bonding pairs down below. And then just to fin finish off, this gives a trigonal pyramidal shape, really important you name the shape, and of course referencing the bond angle that's in the question of 107 degrees. Okay, So even though it's just lines, don't be afraid to put a diagram in there just to back up what it is that you're saying to show the examiner uh, that you know all about VSCPR and the shape of this molecule. So six marks there, okay, uh, dotted throughout each of these little explanations that we've got here, all right? On to 1.2, state the full electron configuration of the cobalt two ion. So the two, of course, represents its oxidation state. And when it's just a single atomic ion, then that matches its charge. So what we've got here is, of course, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and then 3d7. What this question is testing is that if you know that the 4s electrons that cobalt has are the first to leave when it's ionized. So if you wrote 4s0 in there, you'd still get the mark, okay? But I haven't, I've just gone straight and left it at 3d7. 1.3, suggest one reason why electron pair repulsion theory cannot be used to predict the shape of the cobalt tetrachloride ion, okay? Um, now this is a tricky little one, but cobalt of course is a d-block element. So what we have is a large number of electrons in d orbitals, and what they can do is disrupt or interfere with the bonding pair repulsion. So VSEPR doesn't necessarily always hold true when you come to these uh, d-block elements because of interference and repulsion with these electrons in d orbitals. So that's our answer there. And a nice easy one to finish off with, uh, 1.4, predict the shape of and the bond angle in the complex uh, rhodium ion, uh, rhodium tetrachloride, okay? So I know what we just said here about interference, but rhodium, we got no problem with that. So we got one central atom, and four bonding pairs around it, doesn't matter how those bonding pairs appeared in there, uh, doesn't matter whether they're coordinate, uh, they all repel equally. So if we've got four bonding pairs, which are equally repulsive, that makes it tetrahedral. And just by learning by rote these uh, shapes and bond angles, we know that's 
five degrees. Okay, so a, a pretty full on electron configuration and VSEPR question here to open up with. So that is your question one.